one careful owner. Looks really tatty. What? It looks really tatty. That's the good side. That is the good side. You see the bad side? What have you done to the... What have you done to that? No, That's not right. That is just the way it goes. This, this is proper testing. No, it's breaking things. It's not testing. There's a difference. Is that better? Mm. I've kind of... I replaced all these panels for you. What happened? All? Yes, entirety. Remember, I took the whole thing apart, spent hours and hours doing it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then... It, it broke. broke yeah. <laughs> right, okay. But this is real world right, isn't it? Real world testing. Real, yeah, kind of. It's John world testing. I, I think so I represent... So unique. I represent 99% of the people out there. Mm, not so sure. So what are we doing today, John? Right, today we are going to go for a massive, massive ride out. Around about 65, 66 miles, testing the wheels, not on tarmac, but on off-road conditions. So the idea is, for as much of the day as we can, we're going to ride off-road, country lanes, public bridleways, footpaths. We've not tested the route, we don't know what it's like, so we don't know whether the paths will exist. We might ride out and find it's fine, or we might ride out and find the paths disappear into nothingness, and that's happened to us before. So this is going to be a long day, 60 something miles, in the most grueling conditions, but it's going to be fun. And why are you doing it on this wheel? Because what distance have you reached? Well, okay, now there's some, you, you are disputing and debating my calculations on this, but I got 102 kilometers, 102 kilometers on one charge with this wheel. Did you? Yeah, and some of that was on roads and some of it was off road, so I don't know what we'll do today, but it's fully charged up now. We're going to ride it out, we're going to charge it as we but go. But what distance have you done in total? What's the special occasion? Oh. Just to get to the point of the whole ride. <laughs> <laughs> Just a hint I've for done, you. Because you've gone off scripts, I think. Okay, so there's a script, I'll kill that typist. Um, with that, anyway, thousand. <laughs> I've done a thousand kilometres. I've done about 1,100 kilometres more on it. So this is a thousand mile review. Mile? Thousand kilometre review. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the 1,000 kilometer review of the KS18 XL. And it's a big one, it's a special one. It's not just a review, it's a ride out and it's a comparison between this wheel and its biggest, closest rival, the MSX. People often ask me, which is better? Why did you go for this one? Why didn't you go for that one? The truth is I went for this one because I love it. It is a great wheel, actually. No, it's not. I smashed it up and I felt obliged to have it. So, but that It was my lovely wheel that I was testing and then you broke it. Yeah, but that means that I'm riding a wheel that I wouldn't necessarily have ridden before and and I'm going to really test it to its limits. Does it? Actually, so far, I've really loved it. I've said before the faults I've found with it. It is a bit fragile in places, but maybe that's because I've ridden it like a... Because it's a Jonathan. Lunatic. Right, let's get on with this thousand kilometre, shall we? Test, video, yeah. ride, Go celebration. For Go for it. Let's start with breakfast, shall we? Good idea. <laughs> Thirty seconds. <laughs> and we're at Lucy's tea rooms. And nothing has fallen so, off it yet. Nothing's fallen off it. So good. Now I could try this here. I'll show I will show you this one of the thoughts I've got with this wheel. I'll show you it later. Which means I've got to be careful going into a tea room with it, but I'll, I'll show you later what I mean. I'm gonna turn it off. Past 10 is our official start time. Is it? Yeah. We, we, we set off at half nine, but we've had 
Stop 40 minute hours. breakfast. <laughs> so, that's all good. I've eaten way too much. I've eaten no, you, that's no, no, said no one ever. Look at this, they set it up for us. Can you believe it? They knew we were coming and they set up some little cones for us. Perfect. Not quite sure where there's cones in the road, but made for good fun. We lost. Well, so far we've not got off road, so. Ah, still time to get lost then. Plenty of time to get lost. So far, easy. Piece of cake. Might be a few gates on this trip. What? He's got it. Lost. Oh, it's gone a bit greyed out. <laughs> As suspected. <laughs> it's all fine. It will come back when I zoom in. It comes back. Quite a lot of uh, mess. <laughs> What's that? Unicycles. It's not yeah. cheating. Tell me that stupid cow. I'll tell you what, I'll do, I'll do it. You just stand there, make a fuss about it, and I'll actually do it. So, get your wheel. Yeah. Ready? Probably power it off. Pick it up, look. Through the V. Like that, And you follow on through. Like that. See? It's more heavy than... You get it
What are you doing? <laughs> you want how it look back to the front then? Nothing to see here. Good. Uh, planned all that. Right, back on the road. Minor bit of trespassing. Right, we've just done a U turn. Ah, uh, done a U turn. So we just came out of there. Then we went along there. And now we just come back this way. By the way, John's the navigator. Uh, and now we're on a bridle way. A bit more open than a footpath. Shorts. What are you doing? What's about you? Lovely. Got a bit of foliage tacked to your leg. Oh, brambles. Ah, that's fine. You alright? Make it more any more difficult. The dot was nowhere near us where I think we're on the map. And then as, I, as you went hurtling off, I looked up and I saw what well, is basically a cliff face. So you just went, <laughs> I thought, all I'm going to hear is a scream in uh... silence. Then a Mushroom of fireball in the sky. So it looks like it's quite a steep descent down here, which it could be. We're going down, diagonal down this way. Six miles we've done so far. How long have we been out? We've been out for an hour. An hour. So we're going to have it about six miles an hour. Back, back to the uh, 200 mile a day, isn't it? Yeah. Six miles an hour on these powerful machines. Right. You're restricted by it, unfortunately, in the masses. Only a few open stretches like this, which is bliss. I don't know why you just ride down it, Jonathan. Yeah. You ready? You've got to ride for me, that's a challenge, right? Yeah. Oh man, that's bumpy, that's bumpy. Very bumpy. That's the challenge, right. Challenge Annika. If anyone's ever watched that, probably not. Take two. <laughs> well, we're halfway down now, though. What? You basically pushed it all out to the bottom. Yeah. Good. First time. You can hear it snapping. If you try and drive through it. And I mean drive, not ride. You have to drive, rip your way through it. Oh man, that's been hard going. Poor little thing, got half of it attached to my foot. Woo. We are going close to walking speed now on average.
one through, innit? You're not gonna ride it? Oh, okay, it just looks like you're just pushing it along with one foot. Yeah, but... See? Here, your little face. See, his table's away. Cool, so this is where we are. We are in a nice cafe. Um, but this wheel is a lot older than yours, isn't it? Do a lot more miles than it. You did a thousand miles on this. Yeah, oh, we've done a thousand kilometers in the last review. Right, we just had some food and we're off again. We've got like a 12 mile stretch and then another 30 mile stretch. All been good. Had a beef and Stilton to get. Oh, lovely it was. Right, lovely. Bit of road, then off road again. Nice view there. But nice view. Uh, but John had a small accident and he's disgraced something. Oh, he's hurt something. Probably not disgraced this time. You're right. Good to hear it. <laughs> Gives me a laugh anyway. Oh man. Some of these paths are ridiculously overgrown. It's like jungle. Should have brought a machete. This is incredibly steep. Gotta look on the camera, of course. Little steps built in. Oh, too much for the machines to get up. Oh. Resorted to uh, feet. Quite some height there, gained. Oh. <laughs> Cheating, so this for riding unicycles. Cheating. already. Number one principle, leave a man behind. Just stopping there, is it? Or? Yeah, I just thought I'd stop here and look at the view, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? My wheel knows where the best view is. Just yeah. Stop here, have a look. Yeah. No, have a look, come on now. Stop laying Good down, view. lazy, lazy. Come on. Lazy, lazy wheel. You're supposed to lie down all the time. Don't know why it breaks that KS18 XL. It's going to be quite hard starting back off from here. Hello. Inconvenient, really. Ah, mine's getting hot. Yeah, I turn it off. Flip. That means that fan ain't working then. My fan's broken. Wah, 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 wah. Oh uh, no, I think the fan's broken or it's just overheated because we've been climbing up. Well, you can see the elevation gain, probably even on camera. Those tight little fields there, we were down that sort of area. Oh man, and it is 22, 23 degrees outside temperature. 
Thankfully, this machine runs really cool. It runs really cool. So we're going on the road. It's brought the temperature down from 74 down to about 55 now. This is the short space. Now, point worth noting, as I say, it runs cool, this MSX. On the road now, it's only 38 degrees. So the fan is the wheel going round, which is good to know. So it means if your fan goes, I mean, this has been a pound into the off-road. And obviously it's done well over a thousand kilometers now. Um, if the fan does go, as long as you're doing a good, decent, 12, 15 miles an hour, you're going to cool it right down, regardless of having a fan. So the fan's only really kicking in, really hot temperatures, massively steep hills. I mean, this has been cooling down up some steep hills, even. So, so we're on the roads now, heading on some roads rather than the off-road, just to keep it cool. Oh, what's happened here, John? There's nothing to see, nothing to report. I ran about 50 yards as well. Like. It is. It's the most rained in all day. <laughs> <laughs> you did a bit of a power slide, didn't you? Yeah. Get that lit. The fact that I stayed on my feet was impressive. If you'd been on MSX, you'd be been alright. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. Look at this. She looks sorry for herself, doesn't she? Never mind. Any more lasting damage to her? What else has fallen off? Nothing. It's a bit muddy now. You know, ah, it's it? all good. Are you right, John? Yeah. What's happened now? Fell off again. <laughs> it's only been two minutes. No, so I say two minutes. How long has it actually been? 30 seconds. It wasn't very far. You oh. <laughs> 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 actually. Oh, dear. Oh, man. You wouldn't think that's an expensive machine, would you? <laughs> if someone sent that in for a service like that, yeah. you'd be like, oh my goodness. <laughs> you expect it to survive? You do that to it. Have you mistreated it? No. No, no. not at all, no. Have you dropped it in any puddles or mud? No. <laughs> no. no. I, can't, I can't have the box like this. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Also, just carry on filming you from now on. <laughs> <laughs> He's incapable of travelling through stuff like this. So this is the end of a brutal day of testing the final 1000 mile review of the KS18 XL and we have put this wheel through its paces, not just for the last day but for the last 1000 kilometres and I have really enjoyed riding this wheel. I was, I would say, a bit of a sceptic before I started it uh, and it has won me over. I always thought King Song were a bit flaky but actually this wheel has been incredibly impressive so I take all that back that's my bigotry that's my own kind of thoughts I've been proven wrong because this wheel has not let me down uh, it is not without its faults and I've said those in previous videos so I'm not going to repeat the faults I found with it but I would just say that we've compared this wheel today to the MSX and you've got to compare the two because people always ask me why did you get that and not the MSX because those are the two kind of stable mates side by side compare and they stack up against each other and i would say that this is every bit the match of the msx okay maybe it's not as fast off the line maybe it hasn't got as much power uh, debatable i guess but and maybe it's not as well built in terms of it's kind of the way it stands up to being dropped and it, 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 it's solid built i would say the msx is a beautiful wheel it is bulletproof this one does seem to want to fall apart if you look at it with an angry stare and i've dropped it several times so i speak with experience uh, and it shows the signs of wear and tear uh, i think that king song are learning and they are looking to make every generation of these better and better so i think the uh, the ones you buy now are probably not the same as this kind of first one off the factory floor in terms of the way that uh, the inner shells are put together i think we've learned from that also the trolley handle I was finding fault with that to begin with. It was a bit iffy. I have to say my technique has improved. I've learned to use it and it doesn't give me any trouble anymore. But even with that, King Song, I believe, have now changed the way they manufacture these. They've not got the same cut off 
trigger in there instead they've put a button under the handle so i think they've listened to the customers they've evolved it and they've made it even better it stood up i mean this this wheel has has taken a battery in are on the foot plates if you look at the foot plates here i think that they put these rubber pads on here to stop it from banging against the, the bodywork they've not lasted so a thousand kilometers that's not gone but the other thing that's, that's standing uh, and showing signs of wear and tear is the mud guard. Now the mud guard is great, but the way you use your wheel is you put it up against the wall or somewhere or you put it into the boot of the car and it tends to roll back and when it rolls back it does this. It snags, it pulls it out of shape and then after a few days you've got a mud guard that looks like it's sticking out at 90 degrees. Uh, and you have to tuck it back in and then the day later it's done the same again so maybe a couple more screws in there would have solved that if you're listening king song but other than that this is really good uh, so we've been riding all day today we've done or we will have when we finished we'll do about 60 miles uh, and i've charged it for about an hour and a half in that day as well to put some extra juice in it but it's still got about 30 uh, 30 percent capacity uh, uh, by the time we finish thereabouts the most i've had it out of it on a single ride, uh, I pushed it and got 102 kilometers out of one charge, 102 kilometers. Now that is impressive. Okay, it was showing no sign that it was running out of battery. There was no, no warning beep, there was no tilt back. It would just let me ride it. So maybe that's a fault with this particular wheel, but you would think that when you get close to running out of fuel, it should have some sign of slowing you down and tilting you back. Maybe it's just the machine, uh, but that's my experience of it so i'm telling you my experience would i recommend people buy it absolutely in a heartbeat i wouldn't hesitate i think if you're looking at this one saying do i get this or the msx well that's a personal choice it's got more features on this in terms of it's got bluetooth speakers it's got lights that come on automatically those kind of things the more features you put on it i guess there's more things that can go wrong as well uh, but so far those things have worked perfectly well um would I buy this or would I buy an MX X myself? Hmm. I'm torn between the two. I think both are great wheels. Uh, it just become a personal choice. I have to say though, I love this King Song uh, and I'm really pleased with it. And I would not swap it. So that is my review of the 1000 kilometers. Uh, if you want to find out more, check out the Speedy Feet. If you'd like, like these reviews, then click the like and subscribe and uh, there'll be more videos to come. So thank you very much. And you thought that was the end of the review, didn't you? You did. But I just have a quick word with Jonathan. Jonathan just put a little bit of stop here. Because we are moving along at a snail's pace, but what have we got to say, Jonathan, about the events that have just unfolded? So, okay. so I just said to camera that uh, the my wheel did not give me a tilt back warning or a battery low level warning. Uh, and I thought maybe it was my wheel my wheel. While I've been riding today, my phone just said doing an update to the firmware and I couldn't stop it, tried to stop it, couldn't do it. Rode it more or less minutes after that piece of camera back there and checked my battery and it had dropped down in the space of no time to about 17%. It's now on about 7% and it is holding me back. It is telling me to please decelerate all the time. So there's about 5% of the battery maybe now. Uh, it is telling so me... You're getting the safety warnings. Safety warnings are there, so maybe, good. maybe it's the, the firmware has resolved that, but it is unrideable. It's, um, it's not unridable, well, it's no. just you're going five miles an hour. It's a very, very good safety feature. Safety King Song, features. well done, you've nailed it. In other news, I'm fine. I'll catch you later. Bye. This Nicola just keeps on going and going. See you later, John. Nice weather. The sun has been amazing today. It's been beautiful weather. You couldn't ask for better weather. A bit warm for walking and pushing heavy things. But other than that, it's been absolutely fine. Please decelerate. It is now saying I've got 0%, 0% battery left. We've got six miles to go. This is not looking good. So it's restricting me. No.
No, go for it. It's restricting me now to about uh, 17 kilometers an hour. Please decelerate. Have a look at what your battery percentage is now, stood still. Naught. Naught. Right, okay, let's try this. Naught, is it? I can't even see it. Oh yeah, naught. Look at old Speedy Gonzalez there. Top speed. Look at him go. That's it, is it? Game over. Game over, boys. I'm going to turn it off now. Yeah. I'm going to push it up the hill. Ah, OK. <laughs> Good fun with that. <laughs> 1.4 miles to car park. It's all right, I'll document it. So this is now trying to generate some more energy in the wheel. He has come up with a genius idea of pushing it up and down this bit of stretch of footpath while I walk up. And he's gone. So that looks very safe and secure. Where's it going now? This is quite a steep hill anyway. And what we'll just point out for you, see if you can spot anything. See if you can spot anything interesting about Ian's uh, M Super X as he comes past on this shot. So obviously this is light for light with the M Super X. Almost 100%. Looking like a very peculiar M Super X, don't you think? Even though mine's run out. Hmm. What he's not told is that his ran out about two hours ago, three hours ago. And the King song kept on going.